namaste welcome or welcome back to greet arrow so how are you guys doing i hope you're doing good i hope it's an amazing day for you so if you're new here if you like my content please support my channel if you have already supported me thank you so very much for all the love and the support guys means a lot to me thank you thank you so very much in the description box i have my instagram page link if you want to follow me there go ahead and give it a follow and the text that i'm using will also be listed in the description box okay so the topic for today is powerful messages from lord shiva so uh, look at the images one two three take your time pause the video and then choose a group that calls to you intuitively and remember these are general readings so take what resonates and leave the rest behind guys and these are timeless readings as well so whenever you watch this reading might have a message for you so the timestamps will be in the description box i am going to see you in your group number one this is the image that you have chosen let's see powerful messages from lord shiva what lord shiva wants you to know right now i'm hearing the word grounding uh, so maybe for some of you, you need to ground your energy. Maybe you are having a lot of thoughts, negative thoughts. Maybe a lot of thinking is happening. You're up in the air. So maybe grounding will be very beneficial for you guys at this time. So meditating, one thing. Uh, for others, it's like going out in nature. But one thing I'm very, very, uh, you know, I'm feeling like, you know, swinging, swing, you know, swing. When we, when we were kids, we used to swing, right? And it brings a lot of good memories. So maybe doing that will also help you with these thoughts. Uh, bringing that childlike energy out will help you, you're, you're, you know, playing on a seesaw, something like that, uh, going uh, going in a playground, looking at the kids playing will also help you a lot right now. That's something I'm seeing here. So going out, if you are someone who sits at ho home right now, I feel like you've been encouraged to go out to, uh, to f you know, breathe the fresh air. That's something I'm seeing here. Okay, that will really help you right now. So let's see. For some of you hugging someone as as well. I just saw some of you hugging, hugging. Maybe hugging will also help you. Talking with someone will help you. And 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 what I'm being shown here is uh, there is a park. Uh, you're talk, you know people are talking together. There is uh, you know there are children playing. That is the energy that I'm being shown. That is the image. Sorry, that is the image that I have been shown here. So maybe for some of you, that's what you need to do right now to go out a little bit. Okay. And if you are already doing that, um, be patient, guys, because things you will be grounded. I feel like you will ground your energy. This uh, if you have a lot of thoughts racing, it is it is going to get better. Okay, you will you will feel better. So let's see. But meditation, if you can do meditation, sitting under a tree, walking in nature, if it's possible for you guys do that, okay? It will really help you. So let's see. Okay. I'm seeing a child who is holding hands with an other child, okay? So maybe for some of you, you might be meeting someone uh, who you used to know when you were a kid. Or for some of you, it's like you're mating with your child child self. I, I mean, um, you are meet, you're going to do something that your child self used to do, used to enjoy. Doing that also can help you ground your energy a lot, okay? That's something I'm seeing here. Life force energy. Okay, wow. So as I told, for some of you, you are right now feeling a little bit down, maybe a little bit anxious. But as you ground yourself, you know, you will, as you, you know, as you bring that childlike energy, you will actually have so much of energy, right? You will have, like, you will be so motivated, so inspired to do everything. So, so only you need to do right now is to ground yourself, do something that makes you happy, connect with your childlike energy. That's the message. Bring that child, child, child in you out. It's not to be childish. It's to bring that energy. Sometimes we need to be more playful. As, as we grow old, you know, as we grow as an adult, we lose that kind of childlike energy. And here, if you bring that childlike energy, this life force, life force energy will come. You will get that kind of energy. <laughs> That's what it is. Have you noticed that children have so much of energy? You know when children are sick. 
when it's bad then only they are going to stay in bed otherwise they will not be in the bed they will be playing right like that like that you will be back hmm so for some of you you are meeting someone from your uh, childhood days uh, childhood days that will bring this life force energy in you back that's something i'm feeling here for some of you health wise there is a lot of improvement mental health improvement but you need to commit to daily activities that you that help you to ground yourself as i told every day going out you know sometimes what happens is uh, we start a good habit but it's so hard for us to continue doing it right again you thought that yes i will start meditation you do it for one week then something happens you stop right some external events happen and then we stop then we start complaining and then that that's when we get get more anxious so that shouldn't be the case when you're starting something continuously do it every day without failure show up for it as you brush your teeth every day it should be that every day you should spend time don't make excuses don't say that i don't have time no 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 and when you start doing it continuously you will see that energy coming out of you you will have, you will have so much energy to do everything and you will not be thinking like this you know when we start thinking that's when our body i feel like it's like takes a back step because our mind is on the go and at and our body gets tired i have noticed that when i, I when i think a lot I can I cannot function. It's like I'm up in the air. I'm not grounded. I'm just doing. Then I'm I'm completely tired. And then we don't have the energy. We are not happy, right? We are just thinking. So that that if you want to change it, you need to bring that childlike energy. Do something that you enjoy doing doing during your childhood days. Go to playground. But commit yourself every day for an hour for an hour. I'll do this. it will really help with your day it will really help you with your energy levels as well it will bring so much of energy you will have a lot of enthusiasm you will be seeing like yeah i i have this energy to do this oh i have the energy to go go to gym today as well right otherwise you are like oh i have to go to gym i don't have energy i cannot do it you know sometimes we skip so many things because of it and here when you do that half an hour or 15 minutes practice every day like going out for 15 minutes that's enough it will really really help you uh with your day okay so i feel like that's what the message is from lord shiva okay so let's see lord shiva powerful messages from lord shiva for group number 1 silence yeah committing yourself to silence for some minutes that's what is required and that's how you ground yourself not no thinking nothing just commit committing yourself to silence maybe for some of you walking in the nature not thinking anything just looking at the beauty around just being silent looking at the butterflies if there are butterflies birds what they doing looking at the plants just for 15 minutes committing to that that's that will change so much or 15 minutes a day what you used to do during your childhood days maybe swing swinging right You do it for fifteen minutes. That's enough. And when you are doing it, you're si- you're you're in silence. You're not getting that uh, anxious thoughts. You're just enjoying. You're happy from inside, right? That that's what that's what is required right now. That will bring so much of energy, you know. But you need to commit to it. Yeah, you need to do it every day. That's that's important. That's the key. Okay. So let's see. Yeah, look, change will come automatically. Things will change for you guys at that time. Automatically, things will balance for you guys with this yin and yang, and you will have the energy because your body, mind, and spirit will align at that time. You will not be, you will not have those useless thoughts. Actually, that's what the energy is here. That's that's what Lajwa is telling you. It will change your life definitely. I've seen that. It has changed mine. you know when you start committing things change that's for sure if you commit yourself uh like i will do this kind of meditation for 20 minutes every day yes it will change your mindset and when a mindset changes the decisions that we make will also change it will really affect our life like one uh, the butterfly effect i'm getting you know one thing that you change today will actually change the outcome in your future that's what the message is 
so don't think how right now don't think like my future is going to be like this no don't do it right now at the present moment cultivate silence into your life by meditating by doing some activities that connect to you you know to your roots praying praying is also such a good thing to do right and that will automatically bring a lot of balance into your life and will change because this is the wheel of fortune and you've got the star card it will bring so much of hope so much of peace and you will be in a state where you will trust universe you will you will not have to force automatically that will come from your heart the trusting nature will come out so commit today can you commit and if you're already doing it amazing but if you haven't started it yet start it will change your life for the best okay that's a lot <laughs> That's a lot. I just want one more card from this deck and then we'll move on to the next one. Yep. Yeah, like, yeah, again, the burden, look at it. This person is tired listening to other people. They're doing the same old, same old, same old. And they're like, oh my God, how my future is going to look like if I keep on listening to this person. Or this person is your critical self, right? This person can be that as well. Our non-trusting nature, our stress, our anxiety that is telling us we are not good enough, we are not good enough. And it, we're carrying so much burden that we don't have to carry. We're carrying so much of thoughts, you know, thinking so much of anxious thoughts that we don't have to think. So as you commit to this thing, you will see that this burden is also going to be lifted from you. You will not be thinking those thoughts. It's like that only. You will not be like that. You will not, these kinds of thoughts will not raise. You know, you will not even think about those thoughts. It will not make you anxious. Look again, there is, look, we have the hanged man, new vision, like this tired person has been tired, has been exhausted. They're making these necessary changes and this new you is evolving, coming out, right? Whose vision is different. And so they, they know how to manage their stress well. They know how to manage their anxious thoughts well, right? Again, we have the triangle here. We had the triangle here as well. Like the aligning of mind, body, spirit will happen. And that's when the energy will come out of you. Right? You will know where you, you, where you need to utilize your energy. Oh, I am spending so much energy on these kinds of thoughts. I need to let go of it. Maybe I'll use this energy for this thing and I'll get something out of it. Right? So, yeah. So, you, you will be using your energy wisely. So, let's see. And as you do it, I feel like she's in silence. It's about the subconscious. You know, subconscious patterns can change when we commit ourselves with these daily activities, right? <clears throat> okay. We have three of pentacles. Again, going out, talking with people will also be very beneficial for you guys making friends having um, having a set of people who actually motivate you right who give you a lot of hope spend time with that that kind of people okay more spending more time with the people who actually praise you give you the recognition that's very much important for you guys Knight of Wands and the Knight of Pentacles. Wow, we have two knights. One knight is a fast energy and one is a very, very, uh, you know, stable kind of energy. Plans, prepares and then only take action, right? Um, so maybe for some of you, you're manifesting two people. I don't know why because we have the three of pentacles and knight of wands and knight of pentacles came here so maybe lord shiva is telling you, you are going to manifest good people like one person will be full active on the go but the other will be a planner uh, doing things uh, at a steady pace but at the same time planning preparing not being so impulsive so these two qualities are very good for you guys so engage with these kinds of people i feel like you will be engaging with these kinds of people two different people two different ideas the way they perform is in a different way and it will actually help you uh, help you a lot with your skills yeah maybe you are manifesting or you already have these kinds of uh, 
friends around you so learn from them so one is very impulsive once you know listens to their heart with very passionate energy takes action other is like a little bit slow moving right a little bit slow moving but very steady very you know very disciplined um so maybe you have these kinds of people you're talking with these kinds of people and these people will actually influence you a lot so i feel like for some of you you are really meeting your childhood friends you're you're getting to know them and maybe spending time with them it will actually benefit your mental health a lot and you will be learning very much too much you know you will be learning a lot from these people and it will change your life the way you think it will change the way you see the world will change because these two people will show you two different versions and then you will not ah they have these two different versions but i i know what kind of uh, vision i need to take maybe i'll take some from this person maybe i'll take some from this person and according to my uh, my liking uh, i will see see or do things in that way that's what i feel like here and but you will have a very good uh, teamwork you will be you will be doing good with these people that's what i feel like maybe a group of 3 because you know three people are talking together then there is the knight of wands the knight of pentacles it, it reminds me of a very good group you are you're getting a good group of people who will actually motivate you inspire you maybe, maybe their stories will inspire you maybe they, the way they talk will inspire you maybe they will bring that childlike energy in you so spend time with these people okay i feel like you are manifesting certain people into your life as well that will very much influence you with your energy you know they will make you uh, more joyful like you will have the energy to take action and all they will motivate you they will inspire you so good friendship group i i i get that for some of you good people around you that's coming for you guys if you are if you don't already have so let's see what is the message from lord shiva okay <clears throat> engagement oh again engaging with these people will be very beneficial for you guys okay so committing time with them spending time with them being uh, yeah uh, an attraction again <laughs> these people again we have this attraction and engagement here uh yeah so engaging with these people will be very beneficial for you guys and as you engage with these people your energy levels will be high and when our when you know our energy levels is high we are in high in vibration now uh, we are thinking a lot of positive thoughts and that's that's ti that time you will see that you are you are at, you are in this uh, space where you are attracting a lot of things into your life that you actually want because you are enjoying life so that's what the message is here Yeah, so something is changing with your friendship group or with your community. You're you're inviting good people into your life. Okay, so I I see you going out a lot, enjoying a lot of time with these people, talking a lot of things, engaging. You know, there's a lot of engaging. You're talking a lot of things. Or maybe they have a group chat, talking a lot. But they're giving you a lot of ideas. They're giving you a lot of inspiration. These are not these are not the people where you are going to waste your time or lose your energy. At you know, it's the opposite. They are going to give you the energy. They're going to put you in a place where you are high in vibration. And when we are high in vibration, we attract. Again, you will feel like yes, your energy is back. You're loving life again. You're feeling joyful. You're not in this burden energy, right? So that's what I feel like. There is a change of people around you, or maybe you're changing something. maybe you're meeting good people good friends good friends and you will also notice that how good friends can change your life or how bad friends can actually destroy our life right you will see that very 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 much that's what i feel like we'll be learning and i feel like as you are going to uh, moving forward you will be learning um you know you will be learning uh, to uh, to be more discerning in a way with people because you will understand a lot of good qualities bad qualities maybe you had very bad friends who used to tell you do this do this and now you're manifesting good people around you so you know how um you know you know you will know how to uh, spot <laughs> spot the people who make use of us you know how to spot good friends you will know that you will learn that in a way i feel like that so let's see that's what lord shiva is telling you So yeah, the energy will be back. Don't worry. Good friendships. That's what I feel like. You are manifesting. Good people. Good support. Wow. Ah, 
wow let me take all the cards one more thing i think uh, maybe for some of you this can be about a relationship as well like you are attracting a very good relationship where this person is impulsive yet he is very stable steady so very stable steady relationship is also coming towards you and you will understand um you know that's why you will be able to discern the people who are not good for you who you cannot trust you will be you will be able to understand a lot of things it can be you know you can apply it with friends or or love anyways that resonate with resonates with you okay so let's see um other cards Mm, wow look we have the revival yes you're coming back to life guys that's what i feel like you're reviving your strength you have been like this burdened right it feels like for some of you you fell into the trap of uh, bad people bad friends and because of it um you somehow lost your charm lost your Uh, yeah, you kind of became like this person who's burdened with a lot of anxious thought because of these people. Now you're letting go of these people, and you're you're reviving yourself. You're getting the power because you're associating yourself with good people. That's what it feels like. You're becoming like the you know, like the powerful eagle. Now you're claiming your power. So yes, there is a lot of good people around you. You're engaging with good people. and and now you are coming back into your life you're coming back to yourself again with this life force energy you're not going to be burdened so yeah yes look we have this joy yeah yes this joy you're coming back to yourself so i feel like for this group you have lost a part of you because of certain people but now you're manifesting good people into your life because uh, as i told you're going out in nature you're spending quality time with yourself you're meditating when you do that this energy will come back and you will be meeting good people that is beneficial for your growth and again these people will like be the hummingbird they will bring good news so speak again uh, you know if you look at her look at her from the mouth we can see these thing and it reminds me of the book from uh, florence covel shin sorry florence covel shin uh the word is your bond so talk to yourself in a very positive way that is something i will advise you here right now okay um yeah that's what the message is so let's see the final message to you guys from lord shiva the final message for group number 1 Oh, again, look. <clears throat> we have the bodies of water, and she is also feel like she is in the water. Uh, spend time near water, such as lake, river. Again, I told you, uh, spending time in park, right? Uh, so you can ground yourself, and that's what I feel like it's confirming. Spending time near water, water body, meditating near a water body will actually recharge you a lot. It will get rid of a lot of anxious thoughts. It will align your body, mind, spirit. Uh, and when you keep on doing it, lot of changes you can expect. You will be reviving yourself back. You will be reviving your power back. You will come come into this energy of joy, pleasure, right? Uh, so yeah, you will feel a lot of energy. Like again, you will back. You will be back at life, feeling life again, feeling happy again. That's that's what the message is here from Lord Shiv Shiva for you guys. Hope it made sense. Hope it resonated. If it did, give me a thumbs up. Subscribe to my channel if you haven't already. I will see you soon. Bye bye. Take care. Group number two. If you have chosen this um, group, let's see what is a powerful message for you guys. I feel like for some of you, you have been feeling lot of heaviness. Um, maybe you have you have lot of physical issues. Uh, maybe fatigue. exhaustion no energy to do work body aches headaches uh yeah maybe you're going through a period where you're feeling like oh my god what is happening why i'm so uh, so not in my health maybe you're not able to meditate properly maybe you're uh, maybe you're sleeping 8 hours uh, a day but when you wake up you're tired so for some of you you are going through some sort of spiritual awakening and this too shall pass it feels like that something is balancing maybe your chakras are balancing of for some of you i'm even getting kundalini energy like you yeah so that's why that that can be the thing okay so if you are right now uh worrying like what i'm doing wrong because i'm sleeping 8 hours a day um i'm doing everything that is good for my health 
but why things are not good why my body is not feeling healthy maybe you had a checkup and everything was okay but then two things are not so okay it's just for some of you going through a major awakening here i feel like that maybe you're seeing 11 11 a, a, a lot as well uh, so something is awakening you're awakening to your power group number two so so don't worry right now this is all all because you are ascending it feels like that some sort of ascension symptoms maybe you have googled it. what are ascend ascension symptoms or something like that you did um yeah oh. yes let's see it, it might be specific but yeah for other people um you need to sleep properly if you don't have a good uh, see, sleep uh, routine maybe have a sleep routine if you're not sleeping properly maybe consult a professional sleep is very much important for our uh, health isn't it sleep is really really important uh, sleeping for eight hours a day is such an important thing to do for our body for our mental health for everything so do that so let's see but if you're worrying about your health and if you have shown a professional and nothing is, you know, they haven't uh, seen anything, don't worry. This too shall pass. Okay. You will be okay. It's just you're awakening to something. You're going through a major awakening group number two. So don't worry. After this, uh, you know, you will feel very peaceful. That's what it feels like. So take rest. Take care of your body. Eat good food. Drink more water. That's the message here. Let's see. For some of you, you're getting a lot of messages as well, a lot of downloads. Your intuition is very strong and maybe that's the reason you are getting very exhausted. That can be also the thing. So grounding your energy is also important here. Okay. So let's see. Yeah, wow. Look, we have the soul star chakra. You're merging with the divine. That's the thing. You're becoming one with the divine. Wow. Yeah, number 10. Number 10, guys. Endings and major new beginnings. You're ending a cycle. You're moving. You're, you've been prepared to this next cycle. So for that, sometimes we have to let go of certain things. Let go of certain limited beliefs, right? You're going through that. I feel like you will be letting go of a lot of things. As you're merging with the divine, you're letting go of a lot of habits that doesn't align with you. Yes, for some of you, it, you know, as, as I told, maybe you're feeling those symptoms and this will uh, be, you know, you will not feel after you have uh, gone through this phase. You know, sometimes you go through this phase and then now you're moving on to the next chapter. It's It feels like, as I told, I was talking about um, uh, the crown chakra as well because this... Um, soul star chakra is 15 centimeters above the head okay so yeah look i was talking about, I, I did mention isn't it like your crown chakra is open and you're receiving a lot of downloads that's why you will be very exhausted you are exhausted right now so definitely you're mo going through this kind of uh, spiritual awakening where you're merging with divine a lot of ideas that you have about yourself you're letting go of it yeah for some of you you will be seeing you're questioning law uh, a lot you have been questioning uh, the things about yourself about other people you have been questioning your relationships Maybe, yeah, this is all happening because you're going through a major awakening here, okay? You are merging with divine. You are becoming the person you are meant to become. You're letting go. All the other things are going to fall apart for you guys. So this, you're, you're going into a new cycle, a new way of living. Letting go of a lot of limited beliefs. Your life is changing, group number two. And again, if you look at... Uh, what you felt when you look, you know, when you saw this image, very peace, peaceful. But right now you're not in that energy, isn't it? And after you have been, you know, after you go through this, uh, uh, these, um, this spiritual awakening, it will be uncomfortable at that time. You will question a lot of things, a lot of things that made sense is not making sense, right? But after all this thing, the peace is going to come, and and that's the beauty. Okay, yeah, you are merging with divine. You're becoming one with your heart. Heart center, your heart center is opening. So don't worry, guys. Don't worry if things are falling apart for you guys. If you are going through a major tower moment, don't worry. Because what's not best for you will be taken away from, from you guys. You are on the verge of your breakthrough. 
that's what Lord Shiva is telling you. And that's why sometimes some people, some relationship will not come. Not come at that time. And that's exactly what is happening for you guys. And if you are going through some sort of issues regarding your health, everything will be balanced here. Yeah. You are moving into the next chapter of your life that looks like you are going to be very, very connected to the divine. And a lot of peace. I'm getting the word serenity. You will be... You will be in a para paradise. <laughs> it's like, it feels like you are bringing the heaven on earth because of this merging that is happening. So yes, a lot of things will fall apart, but, the, but only what is good for you is going to remain. Group number two. We ha yeah, right now you are like this only flying. Like you, you don't know where you're going up and down and up and down. Like they're flying and they don't know where they're going to land, right? Right? It's, yeah. There are a lot of conflicts inside of you. Maybe your body is also like acting up, right? A lot of thoughts racing. A uh, lot of up and down thoughts. A lot of questioning is happening. And you, yeah, you might be getting irritated. What is this, right? You might be questioning a lot of things. Because you have been doing something. Maybe you have been uh, working on changing your mindset. Maybe you have been reprogramming your subconscious mind and that's that's exactly what is happening. So what's not best for you is going to be taken away for you, from you and now the result will be peace and happiness. That's what Lord Shiva is telling you. You've been prepared for a bright future. Look, we have the maturity. Look at it. Oh my God, you're going to learn so much. You will understand why you have to go through the, all these uncomfortable feelings, right? You understood. You will be understanding so much and you're going to grow. You're going to blossom with this maturity card. You will learn so much. You're going, again, she's, she has closed her eyes and a lot of flowers. She's becoming one with divine. She's trusting divine. She's surrendering to divine. And what, what has gone, she's like happier that that's gone because that was not serving for my highest good. And now I'm seeing what's best for me. Now I'm going to live a life that I never thought existed for me, right? Yeah, the, again, you're moving away from your past. You ha you're letting go, you know, you will be letting go of a lot of things. I will keep it like this here. A lot of things are going to change for you guys, group number two. There is no doubt here. The way you see things, the way you see your past, the way you see the people from the past, everything is going to change here. You're letting go of the people, uh, you're setting good boundaries, you're understanding so much about your own soul, why you were not happy with these people, you're understanding so much, how you were giving so much and you were not getting anything, you're understanding so, see, so much of understanding, deep knowingness, because you're connecting with the divine. You're going through a major awakening here. Yes, that's why you're asking a lot of questions here. And yes, you are letting go of your past completely. And you are here to a new future that is going to be full of uh, peace and serenity here. Yeah, it's, it's a little bit difficult time for you guys. But here Lord Shiva is telling you to trust him because this too shall pass. And, and good things are on the way. Okay, group number two, peace is on the way. Yes, the confusion, again, the confusion, the questions you're asking, what's best for me, why I'm feeling, and when we are confused, we go through this phase, like up and down energy, one, one time we are thinking something, the other time we are thinking something, right, we're confused, we are not clear at all, and this all will go, and you will be very clear, because look at her, she's very clear what she wants, she knows she's very good with her intentions, she is not changing, she's not choosing one cup one time then second cup no she's not confused she's very clear and you will get there right if, if you're not yet it you know if you're not there yet you will be you will have that clarity you will have that peace okay you will be making peace with your life you will be making peace with your past and these energy you are getting out of okay yes look we have the justice look we have the five of swords as well look at your numbers here yeah you're healing look we have the you look again with the hero friend as well some sort of religious beliefs that we used to carry it, it it maybe that was the reason it was affecting our life and here you are questioning those belief system and uh, letting go of the belief systems that is not at all helpful you're questioning your life in a way you're questioning everything 
and while we are questioning we understand in, uh, understand how how people have made us feel like this in this five of sorts energy for their gain they are making us feel like that that we are defeated but they are also not winning right right they are not winning and you are understanding that oh this is because because they were also raised like this they also thought that that's what's best so they did with even without realizing and now you are actually healing that and you're balancing that right so yes you are completely letting go of your past you're healing your past right now this past that you know your future is going to be very very much different from your past the decisions that you made in the past is not going to be the decision that you will be making in the in the in the future because you understand so much these belief system was playing a part in your life in your manifestations right because of these belief system we sometimes make the decisions that is not best for us and here you are realizing all those things you're questioning you're realizing you're getting the answers and you're healing it and now yes you are not going to make the same mistakes you made in the past you know sometimes because we are not aware we keep on making the same mistakes we keep on getting the same outcomes now you are understanding that and so what what happens when we understand we release that we don't make the same mistakes we don't take the same decision we make different choices and when we make different choices we get different results that's what is happening you're understanding so much there is so much of understanding that you're going to have about your life your belief systems your childhood and that is going to change so much in your life because you're healing as i told major healing everything in your life is healing all the you know it's like every part of your life is healing and when a person is goes through healing yes see they have to uh, face a lot of uncomfortable emotions they have to question the question feels little, feels like um, uh, up and down energy right we don't know where we are going we are questioning so much so many things everything seems so fake but yeah it's difficult but as you understand it you will be able to release your past completely and then you you heal right and with this four of swords you heal and you get the justice you get you get what's best for you so yeah that's what is happening here so let's see group number 2 what else yeah right now you have to keep an open mind guys you will have to keep yes for some of you you are getting out of your codependency uh addictions yes that's all is happening so something that you were addicted to you will not be feeling attached to it anymore you will be releasing that so yeah be open minded because there is your vision is completely changing yes that's what is happening here so what you know sometimes we have those belief systems that we carry with us you are going to let go of it by being open minded only we will be able to let go of it isn't it so things are changing for you guys the way you used to see life is not going to be the way you will be seeing in the future everything is changing for you guys your belief systems are changing everything you're becoming more spiritual that's for sure you're letting go of past past people you know who gives us so much of anxiety you're letting go of them completely you're healing those those relationships and now you're on to a future that is that is something very different from your present and your past yeah you are going through a major major awakening guys that's what the message is here so don't worry lord shiva is with you 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 will get the justice just have a open mind right now that's very much necessary in order to go through these feelings that is so uncomfortable so let's see what else for you guys okay let me take the cards from the floor just give me a second guys <clears throat> look we have the magician and the harmony card yes 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 you know sometimes we create a life that we don't want because of the belief systems we carry isn't it and because we we are not thought that uh, everything is in our hands the control the power is in our hands the how we think we we can you know what we think we mirror that things right we are not been thought that we are the magicians of our own life we are not thought anything right we are thought that um, we have to fear god and all but but so many things so many things isn't it so many things haven't been thought in school like we can we can become what we want we can have a good life 
we don't have to compare ourselves, we don't have to be envious, we are not taught anything that we can be the powerful manifestors, that we can create a life of our own, we can have a harmonious life, that we don't have to suffer, we are not being taught that. And that's what exactly you're learning now, that, that you can be, can be a person who can create a dream life they want. You can have harmonious relationships, you don't have to suffer, you're not being taught that. And that's exactly is happening here, you understanding so many things that you didn't understand before because you were not taught that. Right? That how our thoughts reflect, how our thoughts can create the future that we want, how we become the cause of our own suffering, how we can detach from our own obsessions, up, uh, how we can detach from uh, so many, you know, we are sometimes dependent on so many things, how we can detach from these things and get what we actually want. So it feels like you're taking your power back and that's why you're going through these kinds of emotions. So don't worry, the balance, the harmony is coming and you're going to have them, you're going to see the manifestations that you want in your life. You are becoming, you're understanding your own, you know, you are understanding your own power. You're understanding that you are the magicians of your own life. You can create the life that you want. Right? It's in your hands. Sometimes it's in your hands. And when we, when we take that power and we trust divine, we get what we want. <laughs> yeah. You are going to learn so much. So let's see the final message. Like divine passion. Yes, you're be authentic right now. What you act what what you want from your life. Right now, I feel like the assignment that you need to do is like take a piece of paper and write what you exactly want from your life. What are your intentions? What you desire? What you're passionate about? How you want to live your future? Be very clear with it. And write it down on a piece of paper. Every day read it. Every day visualize those desires. And trust divine. Because you are merging with the divine. You are merging with yourself. You are understanding your own power that was taken away from you because of certain limited beliefs that was that was given to you guys by your culture by religion you know yeah there are good things but sometimes there are so many so many things that stop us from living the life that we want and here you are understanding how you became how you know how these limited beliefs or how you know how the parents treated you sometimes it becomes a problem in our life and that's why we don't get what we want and here you're realizing that and you are meant to live a life where you can have everything you want. And that's why you're going through all these things. That's why you're questioning. This is time for major release, major transformation. So don't worry guys, a bright future is waiting for you guys. <laughs> Be honest with yourself. What is your heart's true desire? <laughs> Be determined to follow your heart's desire. Believe in it because you can manifest it. So that's the beautiful message for you guys from Lord Shiva. Hope it made sense. Hope it resonated. If it did, give me a thumbs up. Subscribe to my channel if you haven't already. I will see you soon. Bye-bye. So group number three, this is the image that you have chosen. Let's see powerful messages for you guys from Lord Shiva. Okay, steps have been given. Dance with the rhythm of the universe. Your heart knows what it needs you know your intuition is loud and clear listen to it take one step at a time go with the flow things are in the flow for you guys group number three that's the message so listen to your heart listen to your heart and take one step at a time you will never regret listening to your heart that's what lord shiva is telling you right now so yeah you're so connected already i feel like I feel like you have already gone through a spiritual awakening, you are over that, now you know what your fear is talking to you, what your intuition is saying, you can differentiate it very well. I feel like you have a control over your fears now, you are someone who is overcoming your fears and the confidence in you is rising, you are, you are already awakening to your power, I feel like that. So yeah, the next steps will be given to you guys, take one step at a time, go slow.
one step at a time, step by step. Okay. Oh, <laughs> it's on the floor. Let me take it, guys. <clears throat> okay. Communication, co-creation. Yes, yes. I was talking about you're co-creating with the universe. So the universe, you're co-creating with Lord Shiva. Lord Shiva is giving you the steps. Follow that. Create whatever you want. So whatever your desires, desires are, give it to the universe. Universe is going to give you the next steps. Take steps accordingly. But only one thing you have to do is to trust and have awesome, you know, you, you have to have that faith, unwavering faith. And I know that you are in that energy where you have that faith. And so, so that's why you will be following your intuition. And go step by step. You will never regret it. You have this amazing communication with the universe with Lord Shiva and that, that, that's why I was talking about your intuition is going to be very loud and clear so yes listen to your intuition go one step at a time because you're co-creating with the universe and you can co-create anything that you desire <laughs> yeah and when some yeah I feel like you're someone who has been working on your ego you have been uh, vanishing your ego right you have been working on your shadow self you have been doing the work and now it's time to see the results Yes, you now it's time to see the results. So go one step at a time and achieve whatever you want to achieve. That's what, that's what it feels like. So let's see. <clears throat> yeah, look, trust. This is the faith you have, I feel like. Keep that faith. Keep that faith. Keep that trust. That is going to create so much of magic in your life. Look, we have the Six of Pentacles, we have the Nine of Cups. Yes, we have the Exhaustion here. You're getting out of this, this energy, that's what it feels like. No, you have been listening to so many people around you, working like a robot, but you haven't been listening to your heart. And that's what exactly is changing. The reason why we do this is because we don't trust divine, right? That's why we feel like we have to do this, we have to do that, otherwise we will not make it. We've, we are so much focused on the how, that we just get trapped in the how. But when we let go of that how, and then we have this trust that everything will work out, I'm just going to do what I can do today. And that's how the magic comes. That's how the magic flows. And that's exactly what you're doing. You're getting out of your own way. I feel like you're already getting out of your own way by trusting divine. Again, if you look at it, she's lying. The amount of trust this person has is so much, right? Because they know that they will not fall down. They will. They will be protected. They will be safe. So they are ready. They are ready to compromise on their fears. They are not thinking about other people. They are not worried about the judgments of other people. Rather, they are just going to listen to their heart. And for once, they are doing it what they feel like doing it. And that's how they are going to achieve all the things that they want to achieve. Right? So, yeah. Now you don't like, again, from this exhaustion to laziness, look at the difference here. Look at the difference of you, who you, this is you. I feel like you're already changing. This is the person you were in the past from to this person who is enjoying life. This person is looking life as like, oh my God, so much work to do. I have to do this. I have to do this. How I'll make it happen. How I'll make the ends meet. How I'll get this. How, how I'll this get this. Too much, too much thoughts, right? And this person is like, I know everything will flow to me. I know I can rest today because I know everything is flowing to me because I am um, I am working with divine and divine is my supply. So my supply is always going to be there because it's divine supply. It's not because someone else is supplying me, it's divine, right? The, the amount of trust you have, that's, that's the game changer for you guys. And that's why you're creating everything Whatever you want, you can create it right now. Beautiful, guys. Beautiful. And this level of uh, trust doesn't come easily. <laughs> it requires some sort of compromises, isn't it? It requires uh, taking risk. It requires a lot of trust. That's how we achieve that and you're achieving it. Again, the Nine of Cups, you're going to live a life that you want. I feel like already you're change, seeing the changes. So keep on doing what you're feeling like doing. Trust your intuition. Keep on building that trust. Faith. That's it. <laughs> <clears throat> so 
so let's see what else from the message from Lord Shiva you're a little bit advanced okay I have to say from group number one and two you're very advanced so um, yeah that's why you're you're in this level not everyone can be in this level not everyone can think like you not everyone can have this kind of positive thoughts because it's it was not easy for you guys you have made it happen by trusting divine you have changed the way you think you have compromised so many things in order to achieve this kind of balance inside of you and once once we achieve that balance once we make friends with our feminine side and masculine sides when it's balanced amazing things happen and that's exactly you are co-creating with the universe you are becoming very lucky group number three and yes sometimes people will say that you're very lucky but you know why are you lucky right you know because of the trust faith you have because you have been taking risk no one was seeing that when you were preparing yourself for this when you were meditating every day when you were changing your routines when you when we when you were changing your habits patterns when you were working on your limited beliefs when we when you were conquering your fear when you when you were doing you know doing the unexpected like when when you were taking that risk no one saw that now they are going to see the the life that you will have that will be so magical <laughs> and when people are ready you can give the information not everyone will be ready for this information not everyone will accept it they are like oh, you are lying what are you saying yeah not everyone will be ready but once a person is ready you can give this information to them you can share this information and it will help other people as well right not everyone will be ready to accept that thing as well so let's why let's see next yeah judgment this, this is a new life look we have the empress yes you know the power is in your hands in your thinking in your thoughts the trust you have all you need to do is trust and surrender and take action and everything will flow you don't have to focus too much on the how rather you just have to see yourself where you want to see yourself if you want to see yourself as the empress you need to start visualizing it and start acting like that and that's how you will see yourself as the empress empress and that's how you, you will become the empress isn't it that's how you will have the abundance that you want, have the prosperous life that you want. Yes, your angels, it's like, a, it's like your life is changing, changing. It's already changing. It's already, you're on the process of change. I feel like that group number three. You're already co-creating this amazing life right now. That's what Lord Shiva is telling you. Look at your cards, nine of pentacles. Look at it. <laughs> Oh God, I'm so happy for you. Look at the 9-9. Nine, nine. Yes, you have been learning a lesson. You have been learning a lesson for, for a while. Finally, you're at, at the end of this chapter. You're at... <laughs> do, you, do you think that I'm making this up? No, look at your cards, guys. I was, sh I was shuffling on camera, right? Look at the sun. Happy, happy times. Happy outcomes. Positive outcomes. But this hasn't been an easy, easy journey. Not you is mentioning that as well. This is this hasn't been an easy journey. From this to this, it requires a lot of commitment. It requires patience. It requires uh, being disciplined, being consistent. When nothing is are working outside of you, then to having that kind of faith that it will work out. That you have shown. That's that that's the compromise you have made, and that's why you're winning. <laughs> I'm so happy, you know, that I can't even explain the energy that I'm feeling right now. It's so beautiful. It's so, so joyful. And look at the cards, guys. Look at your cards. From, oh no, sorry. <laughs> sorry, sorry. <laughs> From this to this. Okay. I got too excited, I guess. <laughs> Let's see or else. I don't think I have to explain the three uh, emperors and the nine of pentacles. You know who you're becoming. <laughs> Prosperous, being independent, financial independence, living the dream that you always wanted to live. Uh, making your dreams come true. Having a happy life. Yeah, 
forgiving and learning yes you were doing that only you were forgiving yourself you were forgiving your you from your past mistakes you were releasing you were doing that all work you're already doing i feel like that now the happy outcomes are here yes Again, we have the sun card, sun card playfulness all talks about the sun card only, right? Being the, like the childlike, uh, coming into the childlike energy, appreciating life, being thankful, being grateful for all the small, small things by learning to forgive people, by learning to forgive yourself. This has been a journey for you guys for quite a while and finally you're going to see the results. You are going to see the results. For some of you in love, you're finding the perfect mate. For some of your career is blossoming, your money situation is blossoming, you're becoming financially independent. For some of you in your li in love life, there is happiness coming, your marriage is, is blossoming. Yeah, for some of you, if you want to become mothers, you're becoming mothers. Let's see what else for you guys. Lord Shiva messages for group number three. Okay. Oh, we have three cards for you guys. We have the wisdom, the wealth. Okay, I will just keep this here um, because uh, you know you do this sometimes. Yeah. So we have the foresight. This is a very beautiful card, though. Yeah. Uh, where I wait a second I'll just adjust guide give me a second here I don't know if you can see I'm just gonna keep on the top of the cards okay we have the Tulsi with wealth and we have the elder with wisdom look you got two times Jupiter energy hmm like again you're becoming like the peacock the attractors you're going to attract things you're not going for to chase the things a lot of growth a lot of expansion and yes you are cultivating a lot of wisdom as well when we are in the spiritual journey we know what's best when we need to take action again with this foresight you're trusting your intuition and you know when you need to take the first step you're becoming very observant you're looking at your own patterns your own behaviors and you're like yes this behavior of mine is not good i'm going to change it that's how clear you're going to be right that's how you will be very clear you, you are trusting your own wisdom doing something like you're getting this wisdom and you're making the necessary changes and you know when to take action because you are very observant as well yeah so yes with this wealth card again we have nine of pentacles empress the sun nine of cups if you want an increase in your finances definitely definitely that's happening again knowledge wise also there is so much abundance for you guys you are cultivating so much of knowledge you are very good decision makers as well you're good leaders from a person who thinks how i'll do this to a person i know that i can do anything you're becoming that so let's see the final message group number three from Lord Shiva. I feel like Lord Shiva, Shiva is appreciating you for your hard work, for the discipline that you have shown, not giving up, being consistent, for having this faith in the universe in him. You've been rewarded. Wow. We have Mother Earth as well. Look, you are called, uh, you are called open to help with environmentalism. So if you can help, you know, environment in any way, go, go ahead and do that by maybe uh, taking care of a pet, by, mm, by doing something that will help nature. If you can do anything, go ahead and do that. Other thing, I feel like again, this resonates for me with the Empress card, where you can create, you are becoming powerful creators, where you can create anything that you want. Because if you look at Mother Earth, she creates so much things, isn't it? Without any expectations, she creates, she gives so much and you are in that energy where you can create anything that you want for your life. And you are someone who is very empathetic, very love, you know, you're, you have this uh, loving nature, uh, the compassion you show to other people uh, that will help you attract a lot of good people into your life as well. You are full of love. Wow, the love you have shared is eternal, regardless of the situation. You have shown that courage, that strength at, at the times when things were not going well for you guys. And uh, yeah, that faith that you have shown, that love that you have shown to yourself when things were not, not where, you, where you wanted it to be, 
or right now also you're showing that love to yourself taking care of yourself even though the external is not where you want to be but you are you are in this energy of gratitude um and that's why you're going to get whatever you want group number 3 very beautiful and i even feel like there is a, a spirit guide a guardian angel that is protecting you you're very safe and protected and the wisdom that you get it's like you're changing your life this is a new life from here to here as i told how i'll do this to having faith and 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 you're in this energy i can do anything with the help of divine i can do anything with the help of universe i can do anything with the help of lord shiva i can do anything i can make my dreams come true i know it's possible for me to that and once we are in that state of mind we can achieve anything isn't it so that's all i have for group number 3 hope it made sense hope it resonated if it did i will see you soon bye bye take care